So, Ryan Paul Troy, the Yorkshire filmmaker here, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the new studio um, now that it's more or less set up, uh, and I also I'm going to be um, telling you what I've been doing the last few weeks, other than doing the studio, because it has been mental busy. I mean, just just so mental busy. So busy. Oh, I could sleep. Oh, roll the tiles. So yeah, basically, over the last few weeks, um, as you know, I've been getting my studio ready, I've been getting all the lighting and everything in here set up, I've been painting it, as you can see from the last couple of videos that i put up, um, I just, I know the content that I've put up over the last few weeks hasn't been amazing, hasn't been as good as I would like it to be, um, but I just haven't had the time to push out what I wanted to push out. So a lot of the stuff that I've stopped over the um, coming weeks are going to be coming back. So don't worry about that. So first of all, I want to say um, thank you for all the support that I'm getting so far. Uh, even though I've not been putting out great content, uh, and even though I've only been putting out content here and there, I've still got um, a few f uh, new subscribers. So I'll just thank you to all the people that have subscribed to me now. Um, also, I'd like to say uh, a massive thank you to Beth Whitaker, who is my partner, um, soon to be my wife, and without her and all the help that she's done in here, uh, and me getting stressed and everything else, I just wouldn't have um, got here without it. And just some amazing stuff has happened over this last few weeks, uh, especially getting this, music, um, this uh, studio set up. I'm going to be shooting a music video in here soon uh, for a champagne band. I'm going to be also shooting uh, a Wednesday Adams photo shoot, so I'm going to be doing a lot of things that, that I've wanted to do for a long time but never had the space to do it. And now I've got a 22 foot box, I can do it, basically, so you know, all about that. So I'm going to give you a quick tour around, uh, there's still a bit of mess and pain and stuff around, but at least you can get a general idea, see what I'm doing. So let's uh, swap it over, I'm going to drink my coffee and yeah, I'm just going to pick you up. So yeah, I thought best way is just to take it off. So, as you can see here, we've got the uh, the light set up, which I'm going to do. Uh, obviously, this isn't set up as properly as I will be doing it when I do my vlogs, because I'm probably not going to be set on this, which again needs the front sorting out, but from this sort of angle, it looks pretty decent. So that's going to be a platform, so this can be used for boudoir shots, can be used for um, wall shots, because it stands up and it can be a partition wall as well. So it's actually really good for that sort of thing. Uh, I need to get a new duvet and stuff sorted as well, so you can lay it out, make some amazing uh, boudoir shots and stuff like that. I could turn this light around. So I've got another area here, which is going to be used for headshots. Um, and any other shots that I can think of that might be able to use it. Like I say, if I need a lot more of a bigger space, this platform can, like I say, can be stood up, and then I can, you know, use all this space here, basically. So, you know, we've got a lot more on that sense. So I've got all my gear here, which again, I'm just halfway through getting it all sorted out. So, you know, it's a bit more easier access, a bit of a spare camera, you never know when you need a spare camera. It's always good to have one. Uh, arm's length, all my stuff for everything else. Uh, sofa, which again is going to be hopefully going soon, getting a bit sorted. Uh, start getting a bit of a picture wall up. So some of the photos that I've done. It's a good old Hassan Ditter there. I've done music videos for him. Photo shoot I did at someone's house. Eve Whitaker. Uh, the model shoot I did for the Avatar Cloud, and a few, just a few other bits of shoots that I've done over the the past. 15 months really um, Down here I've got my box full of wonderful exciting stuff uh, and then also there I've got my Exciting slider which to be honest with you I haven't had the chance to use as well as I would have wanted to uh, Hopefully now I'm in here. I can use it a bit more um, Ladders you always need ladders climb up to get home shots now this to you to me to everyone is a light stand a light stand can be used in many ways. This one's a broken light stand. 
what can you do with a broken light stand I hear you ask put a GoPro onto this little bad boy get it in corner film all my shoots which means that I've got content that I can edit down and if there's anything any specific sort of ideas that I'm doing or anything I can always use it I bought myself a strobe of light as well uh, it's a newer one, I've used it, and to be honest with you, I think it's a pretty damn good one to say how much it costs. It's not that expensive, but it's pretty good. My lighting I'm using. Now, I've got a few little bits and bats of uh, lighting. Again, it's all cheap stuff at the moment because I'm still trying to build it up, but how I see it is even though it's cheap light, it still does the job I'm wanting to do. It still lights up the subject. Now, this one is uh, a dimmable one which again is, is really good to use, especially if you want to have a bit more of a boudoir setting, I can get it all set down, still have enough light. Um, I've also got these ones, which are my trusty ones that I've used before, and these are just uh, normal switch on, switch off. Um, I've got a couple of gels around as well, which I will be using, uh, and obviously my bounce board, which I'll use to, to bounce the strobe off, especially when I'm doing stuff like that. So yeah, that's sort of a quick tour of me, uh, my studio so yeah it's uh, pretty much the the studio now as I say it's it's only 22 foot by 15 foot and um, it, it does the job it's it's getting me a lot more work and pushing me in a direction that I want to go now I might have a 22 foot room now but the idea is this is something that I hopefully want to outgrow within the next couple of years. Got my degree in 2017, so in two years, I've gone from a corner in a bedroom. You, you've seen me go from there. If you look some of my earlier vlogs, I've gone from a corner in a bedroom to a room in my cellar to a studio, you know. And I'm still gonna be doing a few bits and bats at the at my house in the cellar. It's still got a, a wall set up there for me to do my photo and some of my more intimate stuff, which I probably will do, especially in front of the fire, because I think that's sort of really nice, um, really nice space. So yeah, and I've also got, like like I say, the some of the stuff in here, it's just, it just feels a bit more, feels a bit more special. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more from me over in the future. Um, I've got a few plans over the next few weeks on where I'm going to go with the videos. I will be bringing back Back to Basics, but I'll be having a bit more hands-on. Um, so I'll be probably starting that from a fresh slate, because I think with that it will be more talking head. And, and that's one of the reasons why I thought I need to go for a studio. So remember to hit that subscribe button, share if you can, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. If you're over there, oh my gonna... Mm. I ain't got my hat. Oh. Bye.